Well, Drewy, tell us where you're at. Obviously, a little bit of surgery in the uh, postseason. Yeah, I had uh, an arthroscope on my left ankle um, back in early October. So it was, uh, it wasn't anything um, too serious. Uh, obviously, I played the year out. I only had to uh, have the assistance of a little injection on one occasion. So I was pretty good, really, but it was just something that was going to deteriorate. Um, and it was just a wear and tear kind of injury. So the surgeon just shaved some, some junk, um, took a bit of junk out of... Uh, out of my ankle and um, it's just a long long turnaround that's why I'm you know here we are about nine weeks later and I'm still not running that much. You just got to be careful with it? Yeah I do yeah it's about a 12 week turnaround from the operation to full training so some guys had I think some knee scopes throughout the off season as well and they're quicker turnarounds than an ankle so an ankle just takes a little bit longer so that's why I won't be running um, fluently and, and properly until about um, Christmas early New Year. Okay. Um, in terms of training now, where you're at? Um, so I can do. I'm running two, sometimes three days a week. Um, I'm probably only covering about three kilometres tops at the moment. Just doing a bit of stride work. Only running at probably 50%, but just really working on running a good running gait, good running technique, and not trying to um, you know limp my way through any session. So the, the guys have been you know really just ease me through the the first you know three weeks leading into Christmas, and then we'll ramp things up in the new year. I suppose you've had experience with having to take things pretty carefully with respect to your feet before, so it's not new to you. Nah, it's not. I, you know, broken feet back from 2010. They they haven't. Um, hampered me at all in the you know ever since I had that horrible year in 2010. So um, it's the first full preseason I've missed because the year I was injured, I was you know I, I did it the wrong way. I was injured when the games were on, and I, I managed to do preseason leading into that season, and then I did the following preseason. So I've never missed a preseason, um, which is very different. You kind of as hard as it is, it's such a uh, you know such a satisfying feeling when you've done every single session through pre-season so I won't get that this year but at the same time my body will get a bit more of a rest and I'll, I'll certainly be hungry um, you know and really uh, determined once the once the, the footy you know, the games begin anyway. Mate what's it been like having Jared Waite down at the club obviously our forward stocks are, are pretty um, sort of full at the moment. Yeah it's great competition for spots is what we want uh, that creates a really good environment and hopefully it results in some some wins and some success this year so jared has been really good I haven't been able to train with him yet which is a, a bit of a downer um, obviously we want to create a fair bit of synergy between us um, as soon as we can so, so that won't be able to happen probably till the end of January but I've just been watching a bit of the stuff the boys have been doing and he looks really comfortable he's a smooth mover um, he uh, certainly looks like he's fitting in really well in the forward line which is a good thing because obviously coming from a different club it'd be pretty hard to work in with a different forward structure but he's doing well so far. Have you um, had a chance to say anything to him about you know mate I'm number one don't be running <laughs> don't be running into my space you know all that sort of stuff laid down the rules? Well that probably goes without saying uh, yeah I'm sure he knows who's top dog in his forward line and uh, if he doesn't know he'll find out quite soon. And mate just one last one you know it's not November anymore that moustache <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, how's it going? Yeah I participated in Movember this year so we raised through the Players Association we raised about 35 grand for Movember for men's health um, so the fact that you still notice it and we're talking about it means we're getting the message out there that men need to make sure you know they get their mental health right talk to people and then you look after your prostate and uh, just testicular cancer is what Movember looks after so making sure us blokes are uh, looking after our health. And I said it to you before mate but you look like your old man now. Oh, I know I've, I've been told I sound like him and I've got mannerisms like him but now I look like him this mo's gonna go. It'll last until Christmas and then I'll probably get rid of it. Good on you, mate. Good to see you back out there. Thanks, mate.